Vote to address financial resources for asylum seekers living in makeshift shelters across the city. Table during today's city council meeting. And Jewel Hillary is joining us live from City Hall tonight with the story. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Micah and Ray. Their crisis over housing and supporting asylum seekers across the city continues to generate a lot of debate. A possible vote, as you mentioned, put on hold earlier today because some council members say that allocating and spending money doesn't make any sense if a plan is not in place. But we're not here Before it wrapped up, a Wednesday morning press conference at City Hall, led by some city council members, proposing a plan to address the needs of asylum seekers, got interrupted. Commit to me that we first. What kind of commit? You got my yes. commitment what? You got my commitment to work with you to make sure that those meetings are addressed. Leaders of ex-cons for community and social change, demanding that those getting out of prison are not overlooked. They got housing for us to go in prison, but no housing for us when we return. Part of the council member's proposal includes three types of shelters. Some shelters housing up to 400 people, other shelters with no more than 30 people. This plan should be able to be implemented to house every single person experiencing homelessness across the city of Chicago. These issues are hand in hand and we should be working together. During Wednesday city council meeting, several aldermen deferred discussion and a possible vote on using $51 million initially set to help with addiction to be used instead for asylum seekers. The unfortunate thing is, even if you were to allocate that $51 million today, that only would have lasted for about two months and we would be in the same exact spot come July. Councilman Ray Lopez says in the best interest of taxpayer dollars and the humanity of migrants, a solid plan needs to be set in stone before resources are allocated. We need a citywide solution because this is a citywide problem and the new mayor, though this was not his fault, it is now his problem. The city council is expected to meet again next Wednesday. At that time, they will discuss and possibly vote on the use of that $51 million that could be used to help asylum seekers. Reporting live from City Hall tonight, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.